There is new indication tonight who fired the bullet that flew through this window and almost hit a Williamson County woman. She has been pressing detectives for answers as to who fired that shot. Quite a mystery. Chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley obtained the emails that show who the sheriff says is responsible. In the country, you hear gunfire all the time, but this was continuous. It didn't hit home what was happening until it hit home. It had to come right here through this window right here. We start looking for it and we find it lodged right here. So I was standing right over here. Had it been two feet the other direction, it would have hit me right there. It's been Barbara Clark's crusade. Um, I could have been killed. To find out who shot through her rural Williamson County home. Even though she suspected boys in a nearby field, detectives told her they denied it and they'd reached a dead end. Why were you so insistent that this not be dropped? Well, I was so insistent that it not be dropped because I knew where the gunfire came from. Barbara Long suspected that the bullet came through the window from across this tree line. It was winter and there were no leaves on the trees. The boys in the field at the time said they weren't in this area. Then an email came and showed their stories had changed. That email obtained by the News 4i team sent from Sheriff Jeff Long reads two boys provided evidence of shooting. They were remorseful and agreed to pay restitution when told the bullet went into the home. The TBI has the evidence and the DA is deciding on whether or not to charge. I am a licensed gun owner and I know that you've got to be responsible where your bullet goes. And I think these young men need to learn the same lesson. Jeremy Finley, News 4i team. Now, Barbara Clark's family says shell casings found in the nearby field indicate the boys were shooting a pistol. We asked to speak with Sheriff Long to find out more about why these boys apparently changed their stories, but a spokeswoman said he was unavailable today.